Um, just we have a couple of local journalists here first, um, so we're going to take questions of those, and then we'll take questions from online and broadcast at home and then daily. So if you can just bear with us, we'll just say look after the, the local journalists here first. So if any of you guys here in the room want to ask questions, we've got Filippo Giovignoli, our head coach, and David McMillan, centre forward. So if there's anybody, just raise your hand, yeah? Um, you call emotions this uh, for us are disappointment, right? Because I think we, we had a, a great performance tonight. The team performed and deserve and deserve much more than what happened at the end. Um, but now we understand that we can compete. This was a little bit for us understand if we can compete with these European giants. Now we understand that we can compete because we perform. We were not afraid. We we came with a plan. We play good soccer, and um, and unfortunately the result is not good for us. But I'm looking forward now in the future, in the next three games with more positivity. No. Um, okay, we'll open it up online, guys. Um, Emmett Malone, if you want to go ahead, Emmett. Yep. Yes. Yep. Hi. Hi. Yes, I was really confident. To be honest, at the half time, we didn't have much to correct. A couple of things. Uh, we were performing. We came here to to perform, to play vis-a-vis, -vis, without without uh, fear. Um, we build up. We possess. We try to to combine in the defense, in the in the defensive third, in the middle third, in the attacking third. So it was a complete performance. Then we commit some mistake, and and of course in Europe, if you if you com if you you know commit some mistake, then you get pe punished. But the performance overall is is, uh, is great. And to be honest, if you remember well, after we tied the two two with Dave, Greg, Sloggett had a big opportunity in the corner kick on, on a cross. I don't remember, and the ball went out for maybe an inch. So we could even go up 3-2 and then listen this is sometimes you need a little bit of luck I don't trust much, much on the luck I trust on the work but sometimes you need and uh, tonight wasn't the, our night with the, the result but the performance still is a great performance I'm proud of all the players and I'm looking forward to the next games for sure to compete now Thanks, Emmett. Paul, Paul O'Hare, go ahead, Paul. Hi, Flavo. Can I just ask you about um, your goalkeepers? You, you left Gary Rogers out of the team and brought Aaron McCary back in, but it was probably probably a difficult difficult night for Aaron, maybe. Yes, uh, uh, Gary played two games consecutive with Arsenal and St. Pat, so it was time to give space to to Aaron. We do this kind of rotation. Aaron, Aaron is fit, is in shape, and uh, actually did did really well with the distribution. And our build up was good, even because he was good on he was good on on uh, he didn't panic. He was good on the ball, and this you know is 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 a factor that maybe you guys don't see, uh, but was really important. Um, and then. I don't know. Uh, in the goals, we're gonna see the video if he if he did something uh, wrong or not. I don't I, I don't know. From the bench, you cannot see well. Well, eventually, we're gonna work on uh, on on what uh, what he missed or what we miss. No problem. But you, Paul. Okay, Paul Fancy from the forty-two. Go ahead, Paul. Paul, 
from the 42. Can you hear us? No. Anyone else? Any questions for Dave? One here in the room. Sorry, Martin, go ahead. Mr. Um, dopo tre talotta sei della situazione, tua, la tua squadra in uh, la gruppa, how is your position on the group? What's about the motivation about the home game? Un po' in italiano e un po' in inglese. In inglese perché... uh, mi ripeti la domanda perché non ho capito, l'hai fatta in due momenti. Cioè, qual è la motivazione del, nel, nel gruppo? Mi, mi hai chiesto, non ho capito. The next game is your home game. You are now with uh, three games lost in the group. It's uh, oh, oh, oh. very difficult at the moment, molto difficile per no, no, la tua no. squadra. Okay, I understand. Well, the, our next game is Sligo for the league, where, which is really important for us uh, to, the, to consolidate, to, to, have, to, to, to get qualified next year for the Europa game. After that, we're going to have a cup game a uh, quarter final, really important for us against Bohemians. And then we're going to think about the, the Europa League, right? But now we understand that we can compete. Now we really understand that we can compete. Because we had three good performances uh, since now, right? The, can we pretend to qualify to the knockout round? Maybe not. Of course not, because we play against giants, Euro European teams that are giants compared to us. But we understand that we can compete. I'm really happy for the players that tonight they show they can, they, they can compete at this level. And we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna be dangerous in the bracket until the end, trust me. We're going to be really dangerous. Okay, anyone else online? Okay, James, James Rogers, go ahead. James Rogers. Sorry, Filippo. Just you, you mentioned um, the rotation of the goalkeepers. I know some players will need rotation just due to the amount of games, but can you explain your, your thinking of constantly changing the keeper? No, I'm not I'm not constantly changing the keeper. So after Arsenal, Gary we were talking about Gary make mistake. After St. Pat, the same thing. Now all the time we do, we do something, you guys have something to say, right? So it's like, whatever thing I do, it doesn't work for you. Uh, if, I do, if I make some decisions, it's because we need to make some decisions. Gary played two games in five, six days. Was the time to put another goal in goal. And Aaron deserved to be there. That's it. Finish. There is no about rotation. I don't rotate because I am crazy. I rotate because I, there, there is a reason why. There is a reason. And the reason is you cannot play three, four games in 10 days, in 12 days. Even if you recover a little bit physically, then cognitively you can, you can miss, you can commit mistake, you are exposed. Is this. Oh my God, Shieldy was amazing. Shieldy, his performance was unbelievable. But the performance on the, of the team was, was unbelievable. They were great. We play without fear. We try to win the game. We try to win the game in, against Rapid Vienna in their away. I, I don't know, guys, if you understand the difference in between, in between a club like Dundalk and a club like Rapid Vienna, like Arsenal, like Molde. Are you checking the budget? Are you checking the value? Are you checking everything? It's important to understand this. And there's a big merit of our players that they are, that are able to compete against these giants. I have a, an amazing group of players. I am so proud of them. But still, the difference is there. Resources, everything. We have to be honest. Then if you say we have to go everywhere and, and, and win everywhere, you guys can, I mean... That's fine. That's fine. But Just, we uh, one for David. Um, obviously, you would have liked to win, but the um, 
Um, yeah, uh, yeah, um, probably something I'll look back on in the future, but obviously just really disappointed with the result tonight. Um, it's hard to look past that right now, um, particularly when we were so in the game. As Filippo said, to equalise late on, and then I've actually even forgotten about Greg's chance to put a 3-2 up. Um, so to go suddenly 4-2 behind um, was so disappointing, but... Yeah, I think Filippo's touched on it. We competed so well, we played very well, and it gives us hope going forward to the to the last three games in the group and belief amongst the squad that we can achieve something in the group. Anyone else? Martin, one more. Yeah, I have a question that I played to David. Uh, it's very unusual that Irish teams uh, travel to Central Europe because normally you play very often against teams in the northwestern hemisphere of the European football. Um, so we're also surprised how strong the team really is. And it uh, was very close also to win probably this game. Do you think it's also a question of balance, if, especially at the moment, if you look on the program um, every, day, every week, two games in a league in a European Cup level, do you think it's also um, a, a, the question between balance to look on the league because it's more important to take part the next season or to look on the European Cup games where every player, every coach, every manager, the whole club has a big motivation? Is that for me? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I think it is a tough balance. It's um, particularly where we have been in the league where we, we probably haven't got the results we feel we should be getting. Um, and we've got to make sure we're in this position next year where we have the opportunity to play in Europe. Um, so that, I think, is probably everybody's main focus. We wanted to try and achieve that within the past couple of weeks, and we haven't, so we leave that to do on Monday, and I'm sure we will do it. Um, but, yeah, it's a difficult balance because these games, they probably take a little bit more out of you. You're coming away here, and you know, you're know you probably covering more distance, more runs, much higher tempo. Um, so they take a lot out of the players, which I think Filippo has touched on. Um, but they're also a, a great experience for us um, to come here and play. And unfortunately, the stadiums are obviously empty at the moment, but to play in such a, a brilliant stadium, um, something which is a rare enough a, a thing for us. So it's a motivation for us, as I said, to make sure that we, we do the job in the league and that we continue to be able to compete in Europe every year.